In this video, we're going to try to run through a bunch of different wave calculations. So again, we're going to start from the basic equation. Um, velocity is wavelength times frequency. Um, in the last video, we showed you that all you have to do is multiply wavelength times frequency, and then you get your velocity. So we'll just show the different versions of that. So say I give you the wavelength of 2 meters and a velocity of 12 meters per second. How do you find frequency? Um, well, first we just get this equation and we need to get frequency by itself. So we divide both sides by wavelength. And that'll give you velocity divided by wavelength equals frequency. So what we get is 12 meters per second divided by 2 meters. The meters cancel out. You're left with 1 over seconds. And those are hertz. So we get 6 hertz. Now if I give you frequency and velocity and ask for wavelength, now you have to get um, wavelength by itself. So you have to divide both sides of this equation by frequency. So you'll get velocity divided by frequency equals wavelength. So that'll be 12 meters per second divided by 4 hertz. Remember that hertz are 1 over seconds. So if I just rewrite that as 1 over seconds, you'll see that the meters per second, that per second part of 12 meters per second, will cancel out with this 1 over second, which is like 1 per second, kind of. And you'll be left with 3 meters. Now if I use period instead, if you have a period of 0.25 seconds, so um, you can either change this equation up here to be for period right using this conversion here so you can say that velocity is wavelength times 1 over period right because 1 over period is the same as frequency or um, you can just convert the period right into frequency and then plug it into this equation uh, whatever floats your boat. But we know that uh, frequency is the inverse of period. So that means that the frequency is 1 over 0 0.25 seconds, which gives us 4 inverse seconds, 1 over seconds, which is 4 hertz. Now, now we have it in frequency. Now all we have to do is use this equation that we found over here to use our velocity and our frequency to get the wavelength. So you get 20 meters per second is your velocity divided by your frequency, which we found was 4 hertz. And that leaves us with 5 meters. Again, these seconds and these 1 over seconds cancel because it's like 1 over seconds divided by 1 over seconds, so they cancel leaving you just the meters. Um, and again, just uh, be aware that period and frequency are the inverse of each other. So if you have a period of 0.25 seconds, that means it takes 0.25 seconds to go through one complete cycle, which means in one second, one full second, you'll get four complete cycles. So if we know the period example, and we're giving velocity and wavelength and trying to find period, again, we can either plug in for period up here, or solve for frequency and get the inverse, and that's the way I'll do it. So this is very much like this equation that we did over here. So I'll get my velocity, 20 meters per second, divided by our wavelength, 10 meters, that leaves us with 2 hertz. If I want to convert hertz two seconds for period, I have to do one over the frequency, which gives me 0 0.5 seconds is my period. In the next video, I'll we'll show you the last two types of equations, which we'll be using later in the unit for electromagnetic radiation.